Uh, just putting the weekend to, a, to to bed, Marcus. It, it, you know, one of those, whenever you take the lead, there's always a frustration when you don't then see it out. I guess. Yes, of course. Um, but you know, we we. I thought we had a decent game possession-wise. I thought uh, we, they had a 15-minute spell second half, um, uh, and we weren't firing all cylinders when we were, we were for a forward play. I mean, that's. It's very rare that happens. That's the way it is. That's you hope someone like a centre half pops up and scores a goal, um, or Lee Brown, you know, from from a free kick, which happened. Um, so uh, it was one of those days. It wasn't our day going forward. You know, uh, our match winners um, uh, was a, was a defender, and, that, and that's the way it goes. You can't you can't always score two, three goals a game. You can't always expect your forward thinking players to. To be at it every single game you'd like them to be, but they can't. And um, to be fair to them, I think they've been they've been very good all season. And uh, attacking wise, we've we've looked dangerous, um, especially you know, especially when you have an attacking performance like you did on Tuesday as well. You expect you expect the same again, but it doesn't work like that. Yeah, and, and actually, you look across the season, the number of goals scored by pretty much all of your strikers is is good. You know, some slightly better than others, but there's no real complaints there. It's the rest of the team that have got to pick them up occasionally. And I, and I guess at the weekend, you got that. Yes, but we did. You know, obviously, Lee got a goal from from a, from a free kick. Um, didn't like to keep a clean sheet off the back of it. I mean, we were in very we were very comfortable possession at the time, dominating possession. The game was played in their half of the pitch. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and a goal when someone switching off to not, not staying with the runner, someone someone not switching off to let them, someone switching off to let them take the quick free kick, and then all of a sudden the, the, the ball's in the back of your net, and um, the momentum swings the other way, and, and that's FA Cup football. The, the crowd get on, uh, uh, get behind them again. Um, there's a bit more volume from the home fans, and we've got to deal with that pressure again. And we did, and I thought we got ourselves back in the game, um, and I thought. In the second half, we, we dominated the, the game again without without really creating loads of chances and penetrating their back line. And as a striker, and I don't know whether you've had this in, in your career, does it help if you know that there are goals coming from other parts of the team so that when you get your chance, you're not overly worried, you can relax a little bit more? Yeah, of course, you know, yeah, goals have to come from all, all parts of the team all season because you can't be the one that's scoring goals every time. You can't, you know, all strikers are paid to get goals, but, you know... Um, it doesn't always work like that, so uh, yeah, it's nice to take the, take a little bit of pressure off um, from other parts of the team, uh, like like Lee, like Lee did. So um, just got to keep a clean sheet, which we didn't. Good stuff. Um, illness obviously caused a bit of problem at the other uh, yep. weekend. Is is that still around in the camp at the moment? Um, hopefully, everyone's coming this morning. Like Lee Mansell, especially, and Charlie Colquett, they've come in this morning. We've had no phone calls from them over the weekend saying they're they're, they're poorly. Lee Brown was poorly a bit before the game, um, so you know these things happen in football. Um, the, the main thing is that, that people stay away from people and the, the, the don't pass it around, and that's happened. Charlie stayed away. Lee, Lee went home straight away in, in the morning, the morning of the game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on about Lee Mansell. Lee Brown played in the game because he felt like he could get he could get through it, and he did. So um, this morning everyone's fit and ready to train. So a couple of days off. I'm sure they won't be at their energetic best, but uh, the fact that they're training in, in, in and around everyone is important, uh, and they, f they feel like training as well. Yeah, and I, I guess a real shame for, for Lee Mansell, who hasn't had the chances to get involved as much as he might have liked, and then mm. the opportunity arises and, and something like that comes along. Yes, but you know there might be another opportunity on, on Tuesday, so it's, he's got to get through training today. Um, so is Charlie, so is Lee, uh, and go from there. But at this moment they're, they're training so here we go OK um, so on to the match then I mean, the, the mathematics start to, to, to boggle your mind a little mm. bit what's the approach when you when you go into the match well we've got to win the game Portsmouth don't have a chance of getting through anyway so I'm not sure what type of side they will put out um, but we, we've got to win the game it's that simple so uh, we're going to win a game going to win a game like we would do any other game away yeah. from home and, and then worry about what happens after that I guess I think so You know, the, the, the Yeovil's game is on Wednesday night so Obviously, what we do might might dictate a little bit what they, what type of team they put out, which is probably a little bit unfair. Um, but um, 
that's that's where we're at at the moment this Tuesday and this Wednesday. And in terms of the competition, Daryl's always said that you know it's the next match. You want to win whatever the competition is. Mm. I don't imagine that changes no matter no. the situation with the, with the the number of games you have got piling up at the moment. No, no, we we want to go out and win, and we have a squad that can do that. Good stuff. Um, and in terms of playing at Fratton Park, I mean, I'm sure you played there countless times. It's a fantastic atmosphere. Yeah. It's going to be a bit unusual, isn't it? Because there's basically going to be no one in the ground. There isn't, but you know, after watching the the last game in the in the, in the Czech Trade Trophy, uh, they the, there wasn't very many crowd there, but they were quite noisy. Um, he said I had the bells in the background, which is you know is is Fratton Park that that that. Um, that's what Fratton Park's all about. Whenever I've played there, being there as a coach, played there as a player, the bells were in the background were, were, were always kind of, you knew where you were. You know, if you close your eyes, you knew what ground you were at and they were there for that game. So the atmosphere is there, the same kind of feeling, just less people.